Uh, my name is Inti Issa. I'm uh, from Iraq, Kirkuk. I graduated from the American University of Iraq, Suleymaniya, which is known as AIS. <laughs> documentary was done, I think I just continued playing basketball until I graduated. Uh, I spent a semester as a, an assistant coach with uh, Coach Bad. I guess the biggest impact is like it just made me love to be myself all the time instead of like trying to be someone else. No, I stopped playing when I came here to Turkey. Yeah, I really miss it. I, don't, I just miss playing it. I miss my friends. I miss every single moment we had. Like we were a very committed team. Even if it, it was raining, like uh, stones, not just water. We used to play. We didn't care about anything. We were that committed. Let's go knock this down before we both die of pneumonia. <laughs> yeah. So perfect. <laughs> it's so amazing. When I see like uh, women, especially in the Middle East, are trying to be more powerful, getting out of their shell. Because before, no one was willing to do that. I mean, especially send their daughters outside the country. Uh, but now we see more and more they're doing that, and it's because women are are wanting to do that. They want to just learn no matter what. They want to be independent. They want to have the same opportunities that men also are having. I think we are a living example of how things are changing in our regions now, how we like to be more, I don't know, independent. I'm studying my master's now at Bahçeşehir University here in Turkey. Iraq is still uh, like a place I love. You can tell that people are really good, they have really great hearts, and they care about each other, like families are really close to each other. I miss that a lot. Uh, Iraq. It's my country, but I have more freedom here. I mean, there I can have yes too, but it's still, it wasn't as bad as now, like with ISIS coming in and then just making everything unstable after we are, we've been trying so hard to, to have things get back to their original uh, order. And they're forcing people to do what they want to do, which is not uh, equal to freedom after like having a dictatorship and then after that having it become to a democratic country with us coming and forcing a human being to do what they don't want to do is, is a whole new thing we decided to move like in 2007 i guess the situation was not good at all we we're having a lot of explosions happening in my city we also had like one really close in my neighborhood and so we were like okay it's not getting better it's not safe anymore i don't think there is a way of coping with it it's just very difficult you just learn to just have it part of your daily uh, life routine my parents cousin he passed away uh, because of a car explosion thing that haven't uh, happened um, close to their house so like this and then there was this Turkmen village that ISIS got uh, controlled them and then they killed uh, whoever was like left behind who couldn't who didn't have enough time to to just leave I'm hoping only for the best because we really we've suffered a lot I mean Iraqis have suffered a lot and we we also like we have the right to live just like any other human being on planet we're just trying to live. To those people who have stereotypes uh, about uh, Iraqis, I think my only uh, thing to say to them is don't judge the book by its cover. Before sharing stuff that you hear, make sure you're hearing it from the right source. Try to, to know more about Iraq before judging.